Okay, recently I've been working on a little project to make a uh, O-scale model of a uh, steeple cab electric train in brass and uh, what I had come up with so far, I, I made a, uh, a power truck uh, uh, and a, a dummy truck and a chassis all from scratch and uh, the, for the power truck I had used um, a DC can motor and uh, I had machined up a, a two-start uh, worm and, and the gear to go with it and it uh, it ran really well and I was really happy with the way it uh, performed. The only problem I had with it at all was the uh, by nature the DC can motor made a very high power unit and the uh, steeple cap that I really preferred to model had a very uh, long low sloping nose line on it and I thought that the can motor was going to interfere with the slope of the uh, front of the train so um, one solution was I had found another uh, steeple cab design that uh, had a larger box part of it and it would allow me to clear any uh, the sloping hood. It had a much shorter hood and uh, the other solution was I thought maybe I'll get another uh, type of motor and see if I can build a lower profile power truck so I got one of these uh, open frame uh, Pittman type motors and I went ahead and uh, I tried to come up with a different truck design and this is what I came up with and you can see on this one it's a, it's a nice uh, horizontally mounted motor um, it's got a, a strap mount over it to attach the uh, power truck to either the frame or the body whichever uh, I choose to do. On this one here, instead of the double start worm, I have a uh, 10 TPI single start worm and it's coupled to the uh, same type of 17 tooth worm wheel which gives me a uh, 17 to 1 reduction on this one. Now this uh, little uh, Pittman motor here, it's not as fast and it's not as powerful as the uh, can motor was, but I thought this increase in gear ratio would give it a little more uh, torque, you know, to compensate for the little bit less power it had. And uh, that actually the ratio on that seemed to work out quite well. Now, the same way on the uh, first truck, I used a, uh, a rubber band drive between the geared axle and the non powered axle to provide power, so all four wheels are powered on this thing. And the other thing I did on this was, it's a little more elegant than the way I did it last time, I made the pickup roller uh, integral with the, the body, the brass body, and it's got a roller pickup, you know, a spring-loaded roller pickup. The way I did that is I have a bra or a um, nylon bushing, not a, lot, not a bushing, I have a nylon rod running through the chassis to mount the pickup roller on, and there's, I don't know if you can see it good, there's a nylon washer there and then there's another nylon washer there and that keeps this uh, arm centralized and isolated from the chassis so there's no short circuiting and um, I don't know if you can see in here either it's hard to it's hard to pick up details with this camera all the time but I've got like a uh, I've got a little leaf spring in there to provide the spring tension so that the pickup roller has tension to the track and uh, on the bottom of the uh, pickup roller arm I have a, a very thin plastic insulator so that the leaf spring doesn't uh, short out in any way and uh, the whole thing worked pretty good it was a little more complicated to make but I was pretty happy with the uh, way it turned out now I've got a little uh, little rectifier here so I can run it on my uh, my AC transformer and uh, like I say, I was really happy with the way it works. In, the, in a couple minutes, I'll make a, a real short little video of it going around the layout a couple times. So you can take a look at it. Thanks for your interest. Okay, I've got this uh, little truck unit on the track. I'm going to send it around a couple times here. Starts off nice and smooth. Um, i got to speed it up so it makes it through the turnout because I do only have a single pickup on it. So it, it stalls a little bit as you can see, but all in all it runs uh, runs very well. Now it's running about 8 volts. I'm going to pick it up a little bit more. 
there I'm running about 10 volts and it's, it's got the it's got really good speed it's very smooth um, I couldn't be happier with the way it ran so I'm looking forward to having a nice running uh, little steeple cab model when I get done with it I'll just have to see how well it pulls the extra load of the uh, the brass chassis and the dummy truck once I get that going but uh, I think at this point uh, I'm off to a pretty good start.